Oh, but you didn't see me there. Ah. So uh, we're going to be talking about a race. If you've not seen it, spoiler warning. What are you doing on the internet? Get off, go, leave, watch the live feed, come back. Okay? So, Lazy 8, the race is just done. Down on, it's just finished. There's not one standout story, so I'm going to bring you three stories from the amazing event that was Lazy 8 Downhill World Cup Round 2. The main story of the day, the big one, is a cheeky little element called hydrogen dioxide. Wonderful substance. Couldn't live without it, but damn, when it falls out the sky, it can make a mess of a mountain bike race. All day, it has been drizzling on and off, causing havoc for the racers. The juniors raced before the bulk of the rain started, and it was cool to see Scottish junior Phoebe Gale take her first win at her second ever World Cup. And also, Jackson Goldstone did the exact same thing. I bet it won't be the last time this pair end up on top of the box. The rain really started making its presence felt after the junior race with the elite riders switching back to mud tires and tweaking lines through practice to prepare for the forecasted heavier rain later in that day. There was a time in the past that racers played tactics with the weather forecast by purposefully riding slower in qualifying to get earlier start times to miss the rain. Luckily, Red Bull and the UCI brought in rules to make sure the top riders all started in the latter half of the racing. Mostly to make sure they were on the live feed, but you've got to give them credit for that one. The elite women raced in super slick conditions with quite a few women tasting French dirt. Camille Blanche, Valley Hull and Miriam Nicole all coped it in the greasy conditions, but it was Tani Seagrave that found the balance of speed and safety to take the win. In Elite Men, it wasn't until Brooke McDonald set off on his race run that the heavens really opened and the track started to deteriorate. Riders before him still had one of the hardest tracks of the year to negotiate, but their vision was better, there was less standing water on track, and the grass hadn't turned to anti-grip quite yet. Do not for a second think that meant Baptiste Pierron, Max Hartenstern, and Thibaut de Prella had an easy time of it. Riders around them were still crashing and struggling to get down the hill, and these guys rode amazingly to claim the top three steps of the podium. All the more impressive in de Prella's case with two black eyes and a tongue held together with string. The riders that really impressed in the heavy rain were Bernard Kerr, Loris Verger, Benoit Collonge, and Reese Wilson. Go back and watch their runs because, holy crap, the level of skill, confidence, finesse and style on display is breathtaking. 99% of people in the world would not be able to get down that track, let alone do what they managed. Fair play to them. Obviously, Reese Wilson did a thing. Doubt you would have missed it. I'm not going to hazard a guess on what happened exactly, so we'll just get it from the horse's mouth. Going up there and the rain was coming down heavier, there was a lot of people talking about what they were and what I'm going to do. Um, and I was kind of lucky in a fortunate enough position that I was later on, so the more rain fell, the softer the track was going to get. So I thought if I leave the start and the grounds, the water's kind of getting through into the dirt and it's soft, this could actually be possible. And then, yeah, by the end of the first split, I was like, this is definitely possible. So uh, pretty much just, yeah, through the kitchen sink at it. I genuinely believed I could still win that race, but if I'd known I'd been eight seconds back coming at that last jump, I definitely would have used the brakes, but. But cut a long story short, I basically just thought I could uh, no break out of the forest there, but just that little bit of extra race speed with a little bit of extra rain on that takeoff, it was a lot softer than I thought it was going to be. And bum hit the tire just as I took off, and that was kind of it. I tried to, I did my hands coming up in the air, I tried to throw the bike down and unclip and couldn't quite get my feet out. So after that, I just tuck and roll and hope for the best. And I managed to tuck and roll my way out of it really well. So I'm pretty good. I've just went for a head check there. and. Feeling, feeling good, obviously, pretty bummed at myself. Trying not to regret it, but it's hard to regret things like that. A small drag of the brakes and I would have been fine, but yeah, no regrets, it is what it is. The final story we'll finish on is a bit more positive. The crowds have returned to the hills of the World Cups, which as a racer is just the best thing ever. What's it like to have the fans here? Oh, it's crazy. It's nice to hear some shouts and some screams. It's really cool. Well, it's going to be great because it means they will scream at me when I'm going past, which means I'll think that I'm really lighting up sections, <laughs> even when I'm not. So it's great. It gets pretty exciting when you got people yelling and kind of gets you like, I don't know, more more hyped and more, uh, for me, trying to get out of the section quicker because <laughs> there's so many people yelling at you. But um, yeah, it's awesome to have people just around and watching and getting back to a somewhat normal. Love it, mate. No one likes the race like the French like a mountain bike race. So I think it's going to be unreal the other day. Stoked to have 
some noise back. The roar of the crowd and the energy you draw from them elevates your riding and the event to new levels. Things felt a little hollow without them and it's great that they're back. My eardrums, however, aren't so sure it's a good thing because those French fans are seriously loud. <laughs> Hopefully this is now the norm for the rest of the year. That's it from Pink Bike out here in Leger. Hope you enjoyed. Join us in Maribor for the... Maribor for the next one. Until then, get on your bike. Have fun. In a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a there's a person. <laughs> <laughs>